Hey guys, it's Postbox Pilot. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video, and today I've got some amazing news for you guys. But before we get right into the video, I want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you press that notification bell and select all notifications because with this amazing news, you're going to be expecting so much content on the channel. And with Chapter 2, Season 2 around the corner, you can expect so much more. So let me know in the comments right now if you have selected all notifications with that bell turned on and comment your Epic Games name down below if you're doing that as well and don't forget if you want to support me further use code postbox pat and let me know in the comments as well i love seeing you guys let me know i try to heart and reply to as many people as possible i reply to over 100 people across all my recent videos every single day so if you want a chance of getting a reply remember to comment down below also smash a like on the video it helps the video get out to as many people as possible and it means a lot to me as well it only takes one second so just do it guys just smash that like easy all right, so the bit of information I've got for you guys is crazy. We've got some mad news, and that is this on screen right now. The Fortnite update has been confirmed for tomorrow morning. I am 100% so excited for this. Finally, we have our final update this season, and I can't wait to see where we are going to go with this. I think that this update is going to be massive, and it's confirmed, obviously, for 4 a.m. ET or 9 o'clock UK, so that's pretty awesome, and obviously, this update is going to include so much that could relate to how this season's going to end. Are we going to get a live event? Is this two-week event going to take up all that time? These are questions that will be answered in tomorrow's videos, obviously, with the leak and the files that we get from this update so you can expect all that on the channel so like i said make sure you smash that notification bell so with that being said we also have a lot of other information to talk about as well it's also rumored that the harley quinn skin guys is going to be coming out in the next few days and some people have actually been predicting that this potentially could actually be on the 6th of february which would line up almost with the release of the film coming out the following day i think that would be the case so that would work up quite well, it kind of worked perfectly, really. It'd come out in Fortnite and then the film's out the next day for everyone to go and see, or depends on what location you are, the film may already be out in your area. So that's rumoured as well, that the the skin potentially could release them with the Harley Quinn collaboration, which I think a lot of people would like to see in Fortnite. That's going to be really awesome. And there also is rumours that we could be getting something brand new with two new pickaxes regarding that collaboration as well. Maybe Harley Quinn's baseball bat and maybe something else from the film as well. And even a point of interest on the Chapter 2 map. Now, I do think that may be a little bit of a push, the point of interest, but we'll have to see in tomorrow's update, only because this season has been kind of dull there hasn't been any new point of interest and with Gotham and that it made sense how Gotham and Borderlands both appeared in the same update obviously that made perfect sense because of all the teleporters we had it was easy for them to add in two massive collaborations but adding in a Harley Quinn area in one update may be a little bit difficult for Fortnite to do without having any description or kind of thing going with it unless they just put it at the edge of the map or maybe like a boat that's turned up or a ship that's landed I know they did it with Star Wars but it made sense because we saw the live event which could lead to another live event but a harley quinn live event now it may only be short it may just be the same concept as the star wars one using the same sort of kind of thing with actors live in game or even just a kind of little talk with like an interview or something or a little clip from the film at risky but it is possible to have something going on if they do it that way so for example we could see like a trailer for the film at risky and we could see maybe something walk like people walking around from the film at risky as like npcs like we saw with the star I was one or we could see like some sort of thing at risky that has changed towards the film that's like the sort of thing they could get away with but i think adding in a whole new point of interest just wouldn't make sense for the story because it made perfect sense with the borderlands and batman one because of the uh, obviously the visitors teleporters that he was using with his beacons that made perfect sense but right now to me it would really really confuse the story up a lot if they did that but yes it is confirmed for tomorrow the update which is absolutely awesome hopefully it doesn't have any problems obviously these things are subject to change every single time we've seen in the past that these updates get released and suddenly they go oh we're gonna have to cancel it and they don't actually release it bang on time and they end up delaying it to the following day or even the friday which would be so disappointing so please don't do that for night please release the update on time which is most likely going to happen but we just don't 100 know so we'll just have to wait and see i'm very excited to see where it's going to take us though so for those wondering as well who are still watching the video thank you so much by the way i've actually want to discuss a little bit how this update could 
change the entire storyline entirely so there's rumors that we're going to be getting a obviously a two-week event are we going to be receiving more loading screens in this probably and they will probably tell the storyline in them loading screens and we also could be receiving a bunch of other stuff as well in this update which could be a trailer or even some sort of mini in-game event which is more interactive so back in season eight it was the vault the unvaulting event where we had the kind of what well, i can't even remember what they were called whether the shards or the beacons in the sky or what were they even called the ruins that's it the runes when we actually moved the runes to each spot we could actually move them by doing different interactions in game so i think this may actually have a two-week event which will kind of bring up back some more of a interaction environment with this event rather than it being a live event which again i think if they miss the live event it could be a huge disappointment but they may add two live events in for season two and that could even be a live event in the first week so you could, they could drop season two still have the same map as it is but confirm that it's going to be a live event on that following week which would be amazing so they could do something like that which would still work technically but i think a lot of people will be disappointed that there isn't one at the end of this season and i have a feeling that isn't going to be a live event this season because of the star wars one we received in the new year's event i know how naff the new year one was it was just the same as the previous year other than the number had changed by two digits from 19 to 20 other than that it was exactly the same event copied and pasted from chapter one to chapter two but i do think that if they were to add in something else for this event that is kind of a live event a lot of people will be happy but if there isn't anything that's interactive or any live event and just this harley quinn club i think a lot of people are going to be pretty annoyed unless season two does really up its game with two live events multiple stuff a whole new game mode entirely we've really just got to wait and see because the storyline has been put at a position right now where we are on this kind of verge of this battle about to break out between ego and alter but nothing is actually happening because we're not in the right situation for it to happen just yet we're kind of just sat here and waiting for something to happen that Fortnite are going to announce and I've been waiting for so long this season has been the longest season we've ever experienced in Fortnite going over four months now so it's been very very long and very very tedious for us all but I definitely think it's been worth the wait with the chaos engine being added in most likely tomorrow for testers it may not be 100% added in for every single user across every single platform and device but I do think a group of people will get access early to test the chaos engine I personally do believe with that being added in that would have taken Fortnite themselves as a development team to work on that engine such as a well a huge amount of time and the staff that are working on fortnite may have actually been employed rather than to work on fortnite for a series of time they may have actually been working on this chaos engine which could have actually led fortnite's downfall in its player base and obviously its update content well that's due to the less of well the lack of update should i say so that makes perfect sense why that has happened but yes like i'm saying you know the chaos engine is going to be coming and this is going to be insane i've already showed footage of it in my last few videos you can imagine how insane it's going to be when you shoot a building it's going to crumble from different sections you're going to see it fall down slowly piece by piece now i've talked about in the past the limit that you're going to receive on different devices and when the chaos engine does get released to the public to everyone obviously if it's only in testing tomorrow i may not be able to run it on my phone and stuff i will do a comparison of the chaos engine across as many devices that i personally own and show you guys all the differences that we possibly could experience with that chaos engine i do personally believe that the chaos engine itself is going to be game changing for a lot of us so hopefully it's going to really really mix things up a little bit and make the game pretty cool and pretty interesting so i am hoping for some huge huge stuff to happen on that side of stuff it's not 100 percent confirmed but there is a more likely chance of something happening in that side of stuff with the chaos engine being kind of lined up ready to go which i think would be absolutely awesome if that was the case so hopefully fortnite if they're listening they might do it they might go ahead and make the chaos engine for every platform and just huge huge game changing mechanics but they might not so i'm hoping for the mechanic changes that's what i think is going to make it completely game changing let me know in the comments down below if you're hoping for them mechanic changes as well are you hoping for that chaos engine to be the next big thing in fortnite because personally i am i do think that is going to be the thing like it's going to change the game entirely for most people. I do think people on mobile may take a little bit of a hit and maybe people on Switch 
and even the earlier consoles like the original Xbox One and the original PlayStation 4. None of the upgraded versions, I do think there'll be a hit on them consoles because obviously the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X run a lot better and people with lower spec PCs will also take a hit. I personally am not a PC player at the minute, I'm trying to save up for a brand new PC after my old one actually got damaged, so I'm hopefully going to make it to there with everyone using code Postbox Pat very very soon. You guys are supporting me with a lot of love and support though on the channel, so it does mean a lot to everyone who is doing that. So hopefully we do manage to save up for the PC as soon as possible. So much love and respect to everyone in the community on my channel and across the entire community who is supporting me with code Postbox Pat on any of the Epic Game stores. I am an Epic Games partner, so I do receive a small percent. As you guys know, I repeat that in every video. You guys know that. So thank you so much, everyone. We've got about a thousand supporters, and it would mean the world to me if we could get to like two, three thousand at one point. We have the potential of making it there. All you've simply got to do is enter in that code. And if you've made it right to the end of the video, comment down below, end of video. Now let me know and add your Epic Games name in there as well so I can add a bunch of you and hopefully give you guys some items. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Smash that like, smash that subscribe. And once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.